Hi YouTube, how are you doing and welcome back to Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. In this video we're going to investigate two different ghosts that went absolutely crazy when we visited them. Usually this game is very slow and it builds up very slow with very minor stuff at the start and then the big crazy stuff starts happening at the end. But these ghosts were different, everything just happened all the time and it was really fun. We learned a lot about these ghosts, I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed please do so, if you liked the video like it, if you dislike it dislike it, but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game. The homeowners reached out to me go. a few days ago, seeming to be rather desperate for help. This family is convinced their house is haunted. They moved into the house about a year ago, and within the first few months, the wife heard odd sounds like footsteps coming from the upstairs as she was on the main floor. Her husband told her she was hearing things until he heard them himself. They have three children, and the two youngest informed mom earlier last week that they have seen a young child playfully skipping through the upstairs hallway. Mom expressed her children <laughs> feel they have a new playmate, but she does not share the same feeling. This is unsettling for the parents who want to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, that I'm does sure not I'll seem very good. find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Alrighty, so here we are. This is the first house in the game, which we haven't returned to in quite a while. Um, it is also the first ever ghost that I think I investigated, and I don't know if I've done it after that. Um, I remember when you first played this game, Conrad would constantly say, you have to turn off the lights. This is not fun in the dark. Now, this house is amazing. I actually, I think this game, I think the church map, the new church map definitely shows you that it's much better suited for houses than it is for large open areas like that. Definitely because I feel like this game lacks a bit. Was that footsteps, by the way? What the fuck? Uh, definitely there's a few things that I would like to see in this game. Uh, I would like to see crouching. I know crouching is, like, kind of pointless here because you don't, like, you can't... There's no, like, death in this game, so you don't have to hide behind objects, but definitely crouching just for different perspectives. I would also like to see some kind of sprint if they add more bigger locations because you can't sprint at all. Like, this is the max movement speed. I want to see the basement, by the way. It's creepy as heck. What?! Wow, that's great audio evidence. Okay, well, I wanted to go to the basement, but I guess, yeah, what the frick? Hello? Yeah, this house is very, very... How was that the beginning? We weren't... We, we haven't gotten anything. It just immediately starts running around. It was the skipping child, after all. A little bit of cold spots. Up here? It sounded up here. I, I want to show you the basement. The basement is terrifying. Now, we know this is the mission we've probably played the most, but it's also, I think, the best mission in the entire game. It is the demon mission. Are you... Is it a trigger when I open the basement door? What the fuck? Every time I open the basement door, you go run upstairs. I couldn't record in time. I put up the wrong tool. Did she hear the giggle? What the heck? A little giggle, man. <laughs> it is the most active ghost of all time. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. I haven't gotten anything besides just pure activity. No EMF, no temperature, just screaming. What the heck? I'm gonna turn on my fans again because I am dying of heat. All right. I would love to find the cold spots. Where are you even? Are you anywhere? Or are you just like all encompassing? Are you in the little baby room? Look at this. There's a picture. There used to be. Is that still in the game? If you look at Poltergeist. Isn't that ghost book? Poltergeist. Yeah, there's a picture of this floating. I don't think that ever happens. Or at least I haven't seen it. Because there's no poltergeist up here. The poltergeist that's in this map is in the kitchen. How hot is it? It's not as hot as some people have. They definitely improved the night vision. Look at this. That is like 10 times better than it used to be. That is a lot better. It used to be... It used to be so washed out. Now it's like actually properly showing you everything. Okay. Let's look around. Give us a sign. Play the Xbox. Oh, EMF5? That was the Xbox? No, wait, that was... No! Ah! Oh! What the fuck? These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. 
Holy shit, man, what the hell? <laughs> Excuse me, there was a child. There was a child. What do you mean these lights are acting funny? I was standing on top of a child. What the heck? That was the EMA 5. Holy heck. Who was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Fuck. What the fuck was that? That was super haunted. This is crazy. Compare this to the church. Oh! Wow. I, I took a photo of a ghost. He's actually, he sounded kind of scared. He almost sounded scared. Can you believe it? Even Conrad's getting scared. Then you know it's getting real. <laughs> you know it's real when Conrad's scared. I don't know if I can handle this anymore. <laughs> he, he, you could hear the tremble in his voice. Hello? All right, I, I want to get some cold temp. I want to start basic, yet you're throwing all the, the whole kitchen sink at me. Ah! What a rare experience to take a photo of a ghost. This child is... Just see the face of the thing? It's completely messed up. It, <laughs> maybe it's just ugly. I don't know, but it looks fucked. <laughs> it's... How is this possible? Excuse me? I've... How is this even possible? This compared to like the last church ghost is the most whiplash I've ever experienced. The church ghost, we spend like a whole hour slowly investigating. And this ghost is just like, hold my beer. I'm gonna go crazy mode. I wonder what happened with you. Oh, no, nothing. Uh, don't you see that? Dude, the there you go. Thank you. Finally. Way. Okay. This is paranormal. So we have that evidence concluded. Hmm. These temp readings are unusual. <laughs> you think so? You think so? Mr. Conrad? <laughs> By the way, there was face in the face. Conrad, please. Conrad's so troll. Sam, thank you for the three months. Holy shit, man. Conrad, you want to- oh, th 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 Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Okay, it's getting cold, which usually means the ghost shows itself, like, pretty much immediately. So every time it walks around, or we hear the walking noise, that also makes the ghost show up. I can't believe this. It's the most active ghost of all time. I thought that grandpa in Polk Street was active. I never realized that the child is the real, real danger. This guy is super calm. All right, give me something more. Hello? Hello, ghosty? Captured it with a recorder. No! Don't tell me she just she she Corona s she died. Don't be sick. I mean, it's a child ghost. No. So every ghost in this game has like a story on why it got why it died and why it's here. Don't tell me this one. I mean, it has to be depressing because it's a child ghost. What child ghost could not have a depressing story? Because even if it's natural causes, it's always sad. No. And she looks so happy. Because this is a residual ghost. It's not aware of me at all, which you can tell by the fact that it's not actually, like, interacting with me whatsoever. It's just... Where... I that's that's making me sad. <laughs> no. That's extraordinary audio evidence. The Conrad, you're a cold. You're so cold. Do you have a heart? 
She sounds so happy. No. The story didn't have to go that hard. I know these ghosts are depressing. <laughs> okay. I think, I think, I mean, so that seems like really clear. So what do we have? We have no explanation for these temperature readings. So we got all of that. We have absolutely EMF paranoia. There she is. She's just having a fun time. She's just skipping around. Not aware of me not turning on any lights. Just a kid being a kid. This ghost goes hard, or this story goes hard. Then we have the photographs taken during this investigation display profound evidence of paranormal activity at this location. I've obtained more than three pieces of audio. I definitely feel like, with the way the game works right now, they should totally also have, like, a little, like, investigation part. Like, in this case, it's so clear that it is a residual. Why not let the player fill that in, right? Like, when you get all the evidence, the game just answers... The game just answers the question, what type of ghost it is. Like, obviously, this is a residual. It's not aware of me. It's not interacting with me at all. It's just walking around the house, like, replaying memories from its past, which is exactly what the residual is. Like, if you uh, look at the residual, it is residual ghosts or spirits who act out a moment of their previous lives, unaware of their surroundings, replaying events over and over. It is believed that these entities, being oblivious to their surroundings, do not intelligently er interact with their environment. This is why unexpla unex unexplainable sounds are usually heard, and EVPs are never obtained. Somehow, memories of their previous lives, for whatever reasons, have been imprinted on the world. Paranormal activities are under the impression that these were significant events or memories of the spirit's previous life. It is a very perplexing phenomenon because these memories play at unpredictable moments with no correlation to the original event. Most haunted locations seem to be inhabited by residual ghosts. Cold spots have been noted frequently with in investigating these types of ghosts. Changes in electromagnetic fields are assumed to change moments prior to manifestations. In the earlier years of ghost hunting, residual ghost photos were plentiful, but they diminished the credibility of the field due to be being poor quality fakes. More recently, due to the improvements of ghost hunting technology, there have been very a few residual ghost photos that have, been, have skeptics struggling, struggling to debunk. You mean like the tens of photos that I took on this investigation? I, I'm going to get a medal from this. I'm going to end up in the paper. I'm insane. Well, that was, uh, that was a little sad. Probably a, gr a girl... A tiny child that passed away, uh, way too soon. What a, what a sad story. Let's... And there she goes. There she goes. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll report to the people. I did, so what we're gonna say here, let's look at this. So when we leave, they're gonna... When we leave, they're gonna be like... Yeah, th don't worry about it. You just got a dead child in your house. <laughs> and then and then we won't come back. We'll be like, yeah, don't worry about it. You don't even have to call a priest. Just deal with it. And now, okay, so why don't we now do a more aggressive ghost? So that was, uh, that, that, that story was uh, mostly sad. Uh, there are other ghosts that are more, like, aggressive towards the player, and then at least we won't feel sad. So why don't we check out one of those as well? <laughs> Let's see, right? So we have gotten a gold medal again. It is, look at this. Although substantial paranormal activity has been found in the home, it is generally no reason for concern. The activity will probably continue at various intensities. Uh, we will conduct a further research to try and identify the source for this paranormal activity. If there are other further concerns, we will return to the residence for a follow-up investigation. Yeah, maybe they just, maybe, maybe the children can play with her actually kind of wholesome but also creepy as heck all right so let's check out let's do a double a double two for the price of one we're gonna go check out on the old on the on the first house i really want to see the shadowy screamer again i think we've only seen this one once let's listen to the story it's gonna be very important demon will be next time i received a call a few days back from the homeowners who believe their house is haunted they catch a glimpse of someone or something out of the corner of their eye which disappears about as quickly as it appears. It seems like the entire family has noticed this at one time or another. They stated seeing this figure throughout their house, primarily as the family is watching television. It'll enter their peripheral vision from another room. Initially, they didn't believe what they were seeing, but soon became convinced when everyone was witnessing the same thing. At first, this was very startling for them, but now they are more curious if anything. They want to understand what they are seeing, I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
mostly at the television, but around the entire house, it said, right? The family has seen a figure on the main floor of the house. Okay. Show us the basement this time. Did I not actually go into it? Oh, I got you this time. I wanted to, but then the ghost was like, how about I show myself immediately? And before it happens again, I just want to see the basement, man. Look at this. We have a creepy mess of a basement. Is there a dead body under there? Are you hiding? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's hold out the... Oh, it's very cold down here. Got a sports bike in the depressing basement. I don't think this door opens. It's only... Jesus Christ, it's only this door that opens? Hello there. I'm gonna keep on... Let's turn on all the lights down here. So that if we ever come back here and the lights are not off or not on... We will be super surprised because I don't think the ghost should actually go down there or it doesn't want to All right. Hello. Is anyone here? Let me look around the television. It entered their peripheral vision uh, From rooms adjacent to it. So let's check out the live uh, the, the rooms next to the living room because there's the, what the TV is This is a luxury bath. It's so wide That's like the widest bath I've ever ba bath. I've ever seen is crazy. Hello? Excuse me? Excuse me! And see the interaction button, so I thought I turned the lights on and you just ignored it? Wait, what? Oh, you thought the ghost turned it on. I see, I see. Alright, is there anyone here? Any cold spot? Uh, but no, that's just the temperature going up from the basement. Shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? That was not okay. You can't just start like that. I haven't even done anything. I haven't gotten a single piece of evidence, and yet you're already here screaming at me. What the heck, man? Close the front door. That's crazy. I need to remind myself that 3 is the audio recorder, because I keep pulling out the, the video cam when I want to pull out the audio recorder. Hello? So, this ghost seems to want to be helped. Because <laughs> it yelled at me. Also, I thought I saw, like, an actual apparition. When I walked this way, did you see that too? When I walked backwards, I saw, like, something disappearing on the screen. It looked like that, at least, I mean. So maybe we literally had a first time app like the first thing we saw was a ghost apparition. That's kind of crazy. That is the strongest light. I've said it before, but I actually really appreciate that in Conrad Stevens's Paranormal PI, the lights are actual lights. So many ghost hunting games have lights that don't light up an entire room. Like, you'll just turn on the light, and then in the corner, it'll just be pitch black. <gasps> Incredible. I captured a ghost on film. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me? I was just... This is crazy. What happened? We went from exploring the church for an, for an hour long to this. There's definitely EMF here. Come on, you got it. Are you serious? There, look at it. Are you stupid? Conrad, please. Conrad, I need this. He didn't, he didn't record it down. You're gonna you're gonna gaslight me. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> no 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 no. Did you do anything down here? I think the lights are still on. Okay, the lights are still on. It just opened up the door. It just opened up the door. It's just being a little playful. 
It's not actually trying to kill us or being scary. It's just accidentally scary. Alright, you want to give us a sign? He wants me to go down into the basement. Well, I did. Hello? I love intelligent ghosts, man. They're so fun. And <laughs> the whole thing. They, they tell such a story. I definitely feel like that's a, a bit of a flaw of the game because intelligent ghosts are like by far the best ghosts in the game because they have the best way of interacting with the player. Like I almost feel like the ghosts in the church, spoilers if you want to watch that one, um, almost feel like that shouldn't have been an intelligent ghost because it really wasn't very intelligent. I mean, it was aware of us. But it did, it, all it did was, like, look at us, right? And turn on, like, one candle. I feel like there could have been a much stronger story told there if it was... If it was a residual instead. What was that? Wait, was that in this room? Did you turn on the light over here? Wait. What? What light went off? The basement? Excuse me? Uh, no it didn't. It turned on no- uh, off nothing here. It definitely sounded like... It should have been a demon? I really think like... I don't know why there hasn't been another demon added to the game. Because I really think that demons- There's only one de Demon right now. Holy shit, that brightness, though. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's actually light. Also, they got a Bob Ross painting. Some happy little trees. And the bad boy up. Hello? Are you gonna give me any cold spots? I swear I have... I swear you should have cold spots. Okay, maybe not this, maybe this instead. Over here. I wish I could flush the toilet. Can you give us a sign? Oh, you have two from the power outlets. Hello. Open the door. No, I'm just kidding. Open this door. I want to get to the neighbors. Can I open your door? Oh, wait, no, this is not the neighbors. This is just her. They never use this. This is so weird. They just... Wait, can I open this? They just got a whole garage over here that no one's ever talking about because there's no ghost here. It's just an empty building. That's, like, huge. Look at this. They got four cars. They got three cars and a tractor-looking thing. That's nuts. Yet, there's got to be a ghost here at some point. There's a ghost in the garage of the other building. Yeah, they got three different cars. What the hell? These people are loaded. It's the car bedroom. It's where the cars are sleeping. All right. Little EMF2 doesn't hurt nobody. You want to talk with me? Who puts this in their house? Who just puts like grain in a giant vase and calls it decoration? Maybe they're farmers. My mother-in-law? <laughs> okay, then. I'm not gonna insult your mother-in-law. Uh, no. That's just this. That's just a vent. I'm getting bamboozled. It's really going in waves. It went crazy at the start. It showed its... I can't believe it. We got... Look at this! What is happening? We have no temperature, no EMF, no audio. All we have is a photo of the ghost. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. You can't hide that from me. I saw that. I saw that before you turn it off again. Oh, it's super cold. There you go. Come on, Conrad, please. For the love of God. Conrad. You asshole. Conrad, you you lost your touch. You lost your touch. You're washed up now. You're a washed up ghost hunter. You hear this? You hear me, Conrad? You're useless. 
Detect these freaking cold spots. I already got a cold spot. I got some EMF, and yet you're out here. Kill me! Holy shit, man. What the hell is going on? This is nuts. <laughs> These ghosts are crazy. That is just freaking wild. That that was the second thing we've seen and it's only I mean the third there's been a few audio things. Oh, here we go. You better get you better. These lights are acting funny. He's Let's done it. Investigating. He's done it. He's got it! Conrad, I can't believe it. Finally, you did something. Jesus Christ, man. Well, these people, how could you, how could you tell these people that they shouldn't have to worry about this? I would freaking poop my pants super hard if I was living here. You turned on a light. What is this light you keep turning on? It's not in here. Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Oh, okay, thank you for catching that. I wasn't even paying attention at all. Is it over here? How is that? It does a light flick, but nothing. Okay, so we got another, we got... Lights are acting funny, and this. Okay. I would like some more lights are acting funny. Show yourself, come on. The porch light! Yes, you're totally right. The porch light. Okay. I didn't even... See, that is why jump scares off is the way to play this game. Because stuff like that is a lot more creepy if it doesn't go accompanied with... Ah! Like an unnecessary jump scare. It's much better if it's just like randomly you walk around and all of a sudden there's a light on and you go like, wait a minute. I didn't do that. What the heck? Excuse? Why did that light not turn off immediately when I touched it the first time? Especially because the jump scare sound in this game is just like the 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 stock jump scare noise that every ghost on that every ghost not not ghost games but like every horror game uses. Hello? Anyone? You very like you really love the kitchen. I'm getting no EMF. What's on the paper? It's a, it's a, just a uh, napkin. Hello, doggy. EMF four from the fridge, by the way. Just saying. Wait, uh, is it though? Wait. Why does this fridge only give EMF when you're further away from it? Or I guess only at the front? Maybe only at this corner of it. All right. Can you give us a sign? Not EMF. Is that the porch? Hello? Can you give us a sign? That was not the porch. Turn that light off. Turn off. Give us a sign, ghost. Some nice pictures. Cold spot. We have... What do we have? We have some abnormal re... Some abnormal readings, some cold spots. Jesus Christ, it's so active on the lights. And they've seen a figure, which I've also seen. So shadow ghosts do not do EVP, sadly. There's only a few ghosts in the game that do EVP. I really like those because, oh. Come on. Conrad, don't do it, don't do this to me. Conrad, please. EMF meter. Yes, should not be let's go. This is Let's freaking go, Conrad. You've done it. You've done it again, my man. Oh, it's Something a ghost spot. Yes. These temperatures. Okay, that's more like normal. it. That's how you expect the game to start. You just get figure out a location. I did it again. I put that the freaking camera instead of the audio recorder. Did I get it? I'll keep that. Oh, let's go. I did get it at the top. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I did it again. I'm so stupid. Okay. 
So we got that. It did. What did it say? I was so focused on pulling out the audio. Holy shit, that's so good. That was good. a very unusual <laughs> noise. That's I'll keep that so as so good. What? It said, like, save me. Flick the light off. <laughs> that's, that's really creepy. That is really creepy. I don't like you. Nuh uh uh. Man, you got anything to say? So we, there's no reason to do EVPs, by the way, because if you look at this, uh, if you look at the ghost book, and you look at what we are dealing with, which is obviously a shadow person, investigate, what, what, what do we have? The second category is often referred to as shadow people. Most paranormal investigators are under the impression that these entities left their lives unfulfilled. Uh, they seem to interact with an EMF meter and temperature sensor in almost a playful manner. Disembodied voices are often recorded, but never has an EVP been captured. So we can't do EVPs, that's pointless. Hello? Keep this out and swap the photo cam when I need to. Hello? I thought I heard a, like a sigh over here. I kinda wanna take the photo. Because, I mean, we got one photo, but we need, like, a few more photos. I would also love more audio. Obviously. Where are you, by the way? Are you... Have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Hi? That was a very unusual noise. Nice, I did I'll get keep it in that time. As evidence. It said hi? That's a little weird. I'm gonna die. No, no, no. You got anything for me? Any more audio? These are two very different ghosts. The, the girl ghost was just chilling. Just, I mean, she was very active and like scared the shit out of me, but she wasn't actively trying to. This ghost is very actively trying to scare the shit out of me. Turning on lights all the time. Uh, screaming, literally screaming in my face, which is amazing. Next to you. Hello, ghost? Is anyone here? I want to do the demon again as well, man. The demon is so freaking good. I never want to go into the basement again until we do the demon ghost. Nope. I said I won't do it. You can't, in you can't bait me into going down there. I will not. I will not fall for your tricks. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. <laughs> what the hell? These ghosts are insane. <laughs> These ghosts are insane! Holy shit, man. This game is terrifying. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy hell. I didn't even see it. I don't think it was there. It was, it was just screaming. Okay, I just quickly want to check. I've obtained more than three pieces of audio evidence. Let's go. I still want a, like a proper photo. Hey. Hey. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy, but please don't kill me. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it, dude, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Dead? Dead? I mean, obviously, you're a ghost! Oh, it turned on the light. In the f split second that I looked away, it turned on the light. What in the heck, man? This is the best ghost of all time. This is actually, like, one of the most active, fun ghosts. Together with that, together with the girl. Both of them. I don't know what's happening. I, I guess I just got high rolls or something, because I'm telling you. The game tends to be really slow building, but sometimes you just get something like this. It's just a ghost that goes absolutely bananas, and you just don't don't know what the, how to deal with it. This is the only. These are these are the onies of CSPPI. Yes. 
All right, you really want that light to be on, huh? Then I'll keep it on. What are you gonna... Are you just gonna turn it off again then, it said? Give us a sign. What's this? The f... Hello? No, please. No, please! Hello? The bathroom light doesn't count as being turned on when the ghost has it. It definitely turns on. Or maybe this light, you mean? The laundry room light? Uh, hello? What a rare experience to take a photo of a ghost. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. What the fuck, man? I hate this game! It's insane! It's <laughs> Holy shit, man. That's so good. Why won't I help him? I'm trying to stay alive. I'm trying to not get scared shitless. I'm trying to help myself here. I don't even... I just never want to leave. You're the best ghost of all time. Oh! What the fuck? How rare. <laughs> Dude! This is crazy! That's so cool! What the hell? It's just been- So, the ghost can totally walk around in areas you're not even at. It could have totally walked from here, just like, into the living room, and I wouldn't even have seen it. And would have just disappeared. This is incredible. This is why this game is so good. Because just, you never know what you're going to get. I do really love the, the slow buildup as well. Which I think that this is, like, obviously we got we got really surprised right at the start. But this is, like, basically what you end up in the end. Like, it, ends, it goes like this and you just, like, don't even know what to do anymore. And then you just collect all the evidence. You take all the photos. It's very satisfying. I love the trophy system that you collect, like, these... You just, it's like a completionist game. You finish, you don't even have to, you don't have to go back to the different missions. You finish them once, but you can definitely go back, learn some new stuff. Like this ghost seems, Help me! seems to be a little, a little, uh, wants help. It seems to want some help, but I don't, I don't know what, the, how to help. <laughs> I don't know how to help ghost, please. Please, I don't know what to do. What do you want from me? How can I help you? I want to help you. That should be your EVP question. How can we help you? Hey, it's free real estate. It's free real estate. That's what. That's what. How that sentence was gonna end. No, no, I will not be tempted. I will not go down there. And you can't force me. You can't force me. This is the most amount of ghost appearances. I mean, uh, maybe that actually the child did even more. They should have stats. They should have, I mean, maybe stats will be a little weird because if you don't, like maybe it'll be so much higher than you expect that should be because you missed a lot of the, the, the times that it showed up and that would take away from the mystery. He really, he wants, oh, I need to help him by going down into the basement. Nope, it's not happening. If that's what you want from me, then sorry, but I can't help you. I can just literally stand here. Look at this. This is like we're now a CCTV camera. This is this is like one of those. Uh, oh, what? It's genuinely. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> you were looking away. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. That's so good. It just walked across the screen to that again. So as soon as you touch it, then it just, it just goes, just goes ham. 
<laughs> I'm a CCTV cam. <laughs> the fuck, man. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? It's just all about help me. All right. Well, I uh, am sufficiently terrified by this ghost. I, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. That was uh, that was Conrad Stevenson's episode. Uh, the, I don't know how many episodes we've done on this game, but that was uh, that was a, that was uh, some crazy ghosts. We found two. Two ghosts back to back. I can't wait for them to add more ghosts. So they did add a new ghost recently. I definitely, like, having played the new ghost, like, sometimes you get unlucky, so we shouldn't just judge it by that one experience. But definitely having played that ghost compared to these, this was, like, so much more variety to the ghosts as well. Like, they have so many more voice lines, so many more ways to show themselves. They interact with the lights a whole lot more. That other ghost just really didn't do all that much. Maybe that was just because I was unlucky. But let's see if we did everything properly. I'm pretty sure we got a gold trophy here. Did we miss anything at all? I doubt it. Both of those games were insane. We got everything. All the EV we didn't get need an EVP. There you go. We did indeed get it. And then it's gonna be like you. You don't have to worry about this. Substantial paranormal activity has been found, but there's no reason for concern. You don't have to worry. Yeah. Well, uh, you live there. You go live there. How about you trade houses? All right. Well, anyway, that was another episode of Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. Definitely one of the scariest episodes so far with the crazy ghost. And I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, love the gamers here in chat. Joins over at twitch.tv slash instant. Every single day at 7 p.m. Central European Top. Thank you very much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Oh, man. That was crazy. <laughs>